For you to change an IP address in Kali Linux, the first thing you have to do is to check the current IP address. What do you do? You do if config on the terminal like this. If config and you hit enter. When you hit enter, you are going to have this interface here. You have ETS0 here. If you look here, this is the interface which you are using, which I am using, or the current uh, IP address which I am using. It ends with 140. I want to change this last number here to a different number. So what do I do? I am going to write down this current IP address which ends with 140. Our plan is to change it to maybe 145. And then now I am going to write the default or the net mask. You write it down and then one other information which you need is the default gateway. How do you know the default gateway if you don't if you can't find it here? You can just come back to your terminal and you type route-n like this route-n and you hit enter and now you're going to see that your default gateway is 192.168.40.2 you write it somewhere now after this you can now clear your screen and then you go to this button at the top right hand side here you right click and you take edit connections edit connections if you click on it now you see wired connections you click on wired connections the moment which you click on wired connections you are going to see that this gear button here becomes active then you click on it when you click on it you're going to see these options here you see ipv4 settings if you want to change ipv6 you can then click on it but in our case you want to change ipv4 settings so if you hit on ipv4 in your case here you might see that it is automatic dhcp so you put it to manual when you put it to manual you come to add like this now you see information here like this one here you can as well delete this one delete like this and then now you want to add a new ip address let's put 192.168.40.145 the moment you put the correct ip address this field here turns to green and then I go to the net mask. Our net mask is 255.255.255.0. It turns to green, showing that it is correct. Now you come to, we come to the gateway. The gateway which we found after typing uh, route-n was 192.168.40.2. Now, what do I do? You come to DNS servers here. In your case, you this place might be empty. It might be empty. So you type 8.8.8.8, comma, 1.1.1.1. What are you doing? These are the Google IP addresses, which is going to enable your Kali Linux to be able to connect to Google. And then now you take save. When you take save now, you close this. And then you come back to your terminal and check if you have changed your IP address by typing the same command, which is if config, and then you hit enter. If you look critically here, you're going to see that it has not changed. Why has it not changed? That is because you have to reboot your machine. So you come to the same terminal. Let me just clear this to the same terminal and just type reboot. And then you hit enter. So your machine now takes time to reboot. You reboot after rebooting you come back to your terminal and you type the same command if config and then you hit enter now if you look here you see that our ip address has changed to 145 and it's no longer 140 now the next thing you have to do is to ensure that you are able that this ip address is able to connect to google because it becomes a problem if you cannot connect to google so what do i do i'm going to ping google.com and i hit enter now you see this information 64 bytes from da, 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 and all of that so i'm going to stop this session this information here is showing that we have successfully changed our ip address and our ip address can be able to connect to google so if you found this video useful don't forget to like share and to also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and see you next time